All right, all right, all right, all right. We are playing Uncertain, episode one. Um, the last quiet day. I'm so excited to be playing this game. I had to turn off some of the graphics things, and even now, still, I don't think my computer can handle it. I hope, I hope that uh, this works out okay. Um, if it doesn't work out okay, hey, it's in the books. At least I played it. <laughs> so anyways, um, I think there's like AIs in this game, like uh, artificially intelligent, like, you know, the robots, the androids. So this is going to be so fun. I love, 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 love the concept of this game. Let's just play and just stop talking. I've been waiting so long to get this game started and hopefully I get this uploaded on time. In the middle of the 22nd century, humanity became extinct as a result of deadly wars. However, the robots created by humans turned out to be very self-sufficient on their own. Artificial intelligence continued to evolve as allowed robots to build their own- Oh no! Each robot found a field of work that best suited their abilities. Slowly but steady, steadily, they created a civilization on Earth they rightly But there was a problem. The more progress they had made, the more they looked and acted like humans. Wow. This is so amazing. This is so amazing. I don't even... I, I have no words to describe how freaking amazing this is. I am a robot. Model RT217NP. Primary mission unknown. I am not designed for physical exercise. I am certainly not capable of construction activity, but I am very skillful with electronics. I have set myself a task. I search the remains for electronic devices and make use of them to design different mechanisms that are useful and efficient. Humans, we replace them. It took them ages to achieve what we have done in just a few years. We have formed a perfect society. Robots will not repeat the destructive human mistakes of the past. We are rational and logical. We do not fight in wars, and we cannot get ill. By replacing humans, we interrupted the self-destructive cycle of these intelligent, but highly aggressive former inhabitants of the Earth. But it is going to take decades to reconstruct the world that they destroyed. Then. Our robot race will flourish under the guidance of our creator, the USS Corporation. Our world is not perfect yet. We are short on many resources, and we can count only on ourselves, but this is temporary. Most robots need to be repaired very often, but not me. I am very efficient at taking care of myself. So amazing! The uncertain. Ah, oh. man, I'm excited. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just beyond words. This is an amazing game. I haven't even played it yet. <laughs> I I just like I looked at the screenshot and just the opening screen. Amazing. Okay. What is that, Wally? Alright. Got some tools and some wiring. Here in my boom box. <laughs> I only brought one battery this time, though it might be compatible with the radio. <gasps> I need to find a second battery. It was with my tools. It was actually a freaking radio. I was just joking around. 
<laughs> talking about the boom box is because I, I saw the holy crap I didn't know that um, it uh, had vibrations and it was really weird because I've never felt my freaking uh, Xbox controller from my PC vibrate before oh my goodness um, so do we just take a seat how do I do I use directionals to... Hmm. Oh, I just press Y, y or A. Um, we're gonna sit down. This is no time to rest. I need to do other things. Robot! You could take a break sometimes. Just learn how to... Why are you running? Don't run. Okay. What's this? Margaret, we are waiting for you downstairs. Margaret, an elderly woman, left the table and headed for the stairs, slowly calling for her niece. She finally reached a girl's door, knocked, no one answered. Aunt Becca opened the, opened the door and saw the girl was gone. The old woman just flung up her hands and said quietly, What a girl! She turned 20, but she hasn't changed a bit. I'm over here, Aunt Becca, said a voice from downstairs. Where have you been, sweetheart? The lunch is getting cold, replied Aunt, hastily going down. I just wanted to see the garden for one last time. I'm flying away today, you know. As they went into the kitchen together, the old woman slightly hugged the girl and looked reproachfully at old Sam, who was sitting all alone at the table. He was peacefully eating his soup, which was still hot. See, the old man just couldn't wait, and started without us, murmured she. Hey, I've only tasted one spoon, Uncle Sam. Got confused. Of course, one spoon. Half the plate is empty. Today is maybe the last day we share when we share a table with our girl. Don't pick on him, Auntie Becca. Margaret stood up. It was my fault that I ran away. Wow. So is that like a little snippet? Um, into what happened? Okay. All right, so let's see what else we got. Um, I know I gotta look at my tools, but I kind of want to explore first. Just look at it. Sometimes human art is so illogical. Why produce images that are not purely photorealistic? Really, dude? Don't be, don't be weird. Let's go to my little station. Wait a minute, it's good dark. This analog device allows you to extract sound from the installed audio data carrier. <laughs> Why did humans use such an inconvenient device when one can just do this? Really? Really, dude? We can't do that. my memories implanted in an android device and just be a robot no pain you don't get tired i do not need charging right now all you gotta do is just plug yourself up and charge that's you know there's no use for a bed oh it finally activated here. So let's see. Uh, chat. Touch or look. Let's touch. I think this is where my tools are. Oh, check my calls. Check my mail or quit. Turn on the radio. 
Oh. An objective updated to turn on the radio. We do that. How do I turn on the radio? Where's the radio? I have no clue where my freaking. Oh, there it is. Let's look over here. I'm gonna look here. This compartment contains textiles. Humans covered their bodies with it. <laughs> the purpose of this is unknown to me. Using that with something else. I think I might be. I think I might be confusing it with something else. Um, I don't know. I've read so many freaking books. I can't even keep up with. with so that must have been me. When we were humans. Oh, turn on the radio. Go back. battery. I need to find the second one. It has to be located in the building. Oh. Okay. Let's see. No, they do not fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. Oh. <laughs> I will return to this later. That's good. Well, he said it was next to his tool, so why... Here is the second battery. Okay, got it now. As I see it on the table. Now I have two batteries. I can try to turn the radio receiver on. Okay. His name is Frank. Your name is Frank. We're going to call you Frank now. Um, well, let's go. Frank? Let's turn this radio on. It's cool that like they can go in the rain. It's really weird. It's cool though. To do something. <laughs> the scene and the, the Walking Dead season one. Uh, Lee and Carly. Her Carly had a problem with the radio and she put the batteries in backwards. Let's make sure we put the batteries in. I'm going to turn it on. With, with you know, the correct connections. <laughs> With the positives and the negatives on the right side. Alright, so let's turn that over. And, um, power buttons up here. It is really weird how my sensitivity is really bad. Like, I'm barely touching the joystick right now. Okay. Alright, now we need to find a station, right? What are we doing? There's nothing else to press. 
I guess that's it. You just turn it on. And this heroic feat will remain in our hearts forever. Don't let the fallen give their lives in vain. Join the army. Protect your homeland. Save your freedom, tradition, and... Hmm. A small group of people controlled the masses using such words. I do not understand how a simple human speech could have urged people to participate in war. It would be more logical to reach a compromise by means of negotiations. That's what I say too, but does anybody listen? <laughs> um, yeah, oh, so far this game is awesome. It's amazing. Um, the only problem that I this have. This room is very strange. I never enter it. This is the bathroom. <laughs> oh, the bathroom is very strange. What? My phone's ringing. came up and now I can't answer it. Um, why can't I answer it? Oh my gosh. Why does it have to be exactly on the thing? Um, because some people, some people don't have the greatest computers. Trying to like. There we go. I'm pressing it. What the freak? There it goes. This is the construction robot who ordered the plasma cutter. I will answer. Hello? RT. This is TH27. It was difficult to find your contact information. You were supposed to have finished the plasma cutter two days ago. Why have we not received it yet? Um, 
and I found components. I am sorry, but it took more time than I had estimated to find all the required components. This information is irrelevant. The date of exchange has been fixed. What? You should have brought me the cutter and receive an enhanced battery in return. Calm it down. is not as bad as it sounds. I found the necessary parts and I am almost finished assembling the cutter. I just need to diagnose and calibrate it. This is good news. When will you deliver it? I don't freaking know. Tomorrow. I will finish the work today and travel tomorrow morning. Good. Thank you. We will be waiting. I cannot fail in my task. Structure robots do very important work. I need to finish the cutter as quickly as possible. Okay, well let me go over and do it. But, um... <laughs> that was a really snappy Aussie robot. Very nice, very nice. I need to calibrate the cutter using my data coder. got it now. So they have to fit into each other to form the full square. So I think um, this one this one goes together to make a square. Okay. Um, shoot. Yep. Okay. Um. This one. Okay. Now the little S. This one and this one. Okay. Um. one. Match it up with this one. Okay. Um, this one probably goes here. And then this 
What's in this? And last two. This and this. Get wrecked. <laughs> Success. Get that puzzle out of here. This is no problem to me. Good. The cutter is now complete. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to the city and deliver it. I do not need the battery that they offer in payment, but it would be irrational to refuse. My battery charge is 12%. The most effective action I can take is to get fully charged on the dock station before the morning. Alright, so let's go ahead, get on my little dock station. The dock station is not powered at the moment. I need to transfer power to it at the electric switchboard. Oh my gosh, really? What electric switchboard? This? The data disk that I found is damaged. Perhaps it still contains some information. dying and you're like okay I need to charge my battery oh voice switches okay get rid of excess power at both sources excess power is displayed in yellow okay so let's push that over here how does it work and then Now the dock station is ready to use. <laughs> That's like when your phone, you need to charge your phone so bad and you can't find your charger. That's how I felt just then. I was just like panicking. That's why I got so quiet. I'm sorry. Oh man. That was a tough puzzle. I think it's just like evening them out to 100%. I don't know. Or 50%. I don't know. Well, it should have been 100. <sighs> Evening them out somehow to get a little bit more power on the, the right hand side of the house. What is it, aliens or something? What happened? Uh, well, a freaking ship crashed in your yard. Damaged my fence. My freaking fence. Get off. For a long time, I tried to understand the purpose of this metal construction, but I failed to determine its practical use. Um, it's fun. Therefore, I conclude that this is an art object. 
Frank. I just, I don't know what to do with you, buddy. Alright, so let's check this out. Um, can I just go over to you? Be able to get in here. I guess like he's so fearless about it because he's an android. So you know, what's an alien gonna do to him, really? I didn't mean to go upstairs. Um, I just kind of wanted to be a little noisy first, and then I'll come down and stay with you. Alright? How about that? Alright, let's, let's go back downstairs. I feel like... I feel like a real jerk. It's <laughs> just walking past you. Uh, will this robot find love? Find out next time on Uncertain. My touch will not make this robot functional. Okay, well, just, uh, I'm trying. I, I, I... This robot is badly damaged due to an accident. It is possible that it piloted this shuttle. I need more information about what occurred here. USS Robotics Boxes. They withstand serious accidents. Obviously. Is there any more to this ship? Is this his black box? According to the indicator, there is still some charge in the accumulator. some wires to connect the accumulator. Okay, Frank, let's save this robot. It is possible that I can power it with the accumulator that I found. Here comes another puzzle. This is my last puzzle, and then um, I'm gonna go 
ahead and cut this video. And it's already been 45 minute recording. Uh, not to mention the times that I spent derping around trying to figure out these puzzles. a degree in robotics before we're done with this game. <laughs> Guys, watch out. Help them. What? Eight. functioning. What did he say? Who should I help? And what are these numbers? Is it a code? Okay, he said 857 something. A lithium sulfur accumulator was common for older aircraft models. It applies standard voltage, but it is not suitable for robots due to the excess weight and dimensions. We use a more efficient portable version. I have already found a working accumulator. chip in this robot may be intact. Later, I can find a way to read the data in order to find out what happened here. support system not active autopilot off C log power supply not responding uh, engine not responding fuel tank leaking uh, gateway locked Communication not responding. Uh, radar not responding. Emergency communication none. Landing gear released. Flaps released. Ship is not res ready to fly. Eliminate all faults to continue. Okay. So disable the alarm. Open hold. He said eight. 
five, seven, and then we'll try one, one. Okay, it's a four digit number. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad it's only four digits. Okay, so it's not that. Eight, five, seven, zero. I think this door is now unlocked. Alright, um, so let me go ahead and do this. I don't even know how much of the episode is left. The door is already open. There's no use in entering the password again. stop this here. Uh, when we come back next time, we will go through the door and find out uh, what's happening. So, um, I think the door is over here somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, oh, it's right. Yeah, but we'll find out next time. Um, if you did enjoy this and you would like to see more, uh, like, comment, subscribe, everything that you do is greatly appreciated, um, and I love it. I, I love being able to share some of my favorite games with people. This has got to be one of my favorites, um, but yeah, without further ado, have a great day, guys. Bye.